Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the very important security service in Google Cloud, that is a security command center. So uh, what is security command center and why we need a security command center that first we see in quickly in two minutes and then we'll go to our cloud console and we'll try to create a security command center and we'll see how we can detect our vulnerabilities and security issues in Google Cloud using a security command center. So just take an example, I have an organization account in my company and I will be having uh, hundreds or two hundreds of uh, Google Cloud project and thousands of resources created. So sometimes I can misconfigure some configuration, I can create some firewall which is not secure, I can create some virtual machine and wrongly I assigned it a public IP. So these are kind of security issues I can have but how I will identify all these issues across my 200 projects or across thousands of VMs and hundreds of VPC networks so it is difficult to identify by going into each and every project and check the vulnerabilities. So for this purpose we can use a security command center where security command center detect all vulnerabilities from your all projects and all resources so even you have thousands of vm it will scan all thousands of vm it will scan your hundreds of projects and on a single dashboard it will show all the security issues your organization is having and that's why it is important to use a security command center so you just quickly see what is this security command center in one minute and then i'll go to my cloud console so security command center is google cloud centralized vulnerability and threat reporting service securities command center can be activated on individual project level or organization level so security command center offer two service tiers that is standard and premium where standard is free but it is having a less feature where premium are required acoustic and it is having a more feature related to your security and well, if you want to activate the security command center on your project your project should be attached to your organization that is the one of the feature and this is a simple block diagram how security command center will work so it will work with four different service to find vulnerabilities it will work with a web security scanner and a rapid vulnerability detection service and to discover asset like how many projects you have in your organization how many vms how many storage bucket you have in your organization it will use a cloud asset inventory and then for threat detection it will use uh, event threat detection container threat detection and virtual machine threat detection service and it will keep monitoring all these services continuously and it will keep reporting all security findings on the security command center dashboard and using this security command center dashboard you can take your action to remedy your security issues so that is a basic introduction of security command center now i'll go to my cloud console so guys always remember to create a security command center you should have an organization account so here you could see i am having an organization account that is techtrapture.com and your security command center would be visible only in your organization node so suppose if i go here and i'll select one of the folder and try to see what i have in security okay and go to security command center So it will ask the page need not viewable for the folder. So what I will do, I will go to organization node and then we'll see if security command center is visible. Okay, and we'll see how we can set up it again. Okay, so here I have to select a tier. So currently the standard tier is selected. I'm not using the premium one just to avoid a cost because this is a free so i just selected the tier as a standard tier and i'll go next okay so i will just select the services whatever the services default are there i will use that so most of the services i can see in a premium So I will disable whatever is there for a premium tier and I will only keep what is there for a standard tier. Uh, 
okay so the security health analytics only i'll keep that is the basic uh, security command center features and i'll click on next so here whenever we are creating or setting up the security command center it will create one system generated or google managed service account and it should have access to few of the google resources in order to find the vulnerabilities in the system so we'll just click on the grant rules so i'll click on the grant rules and you could see that test successfully completed and the service account is provisioned correctly so this should be green always here it should not be any error and then click on next and we'll complete the setup okay and i'll click on finish so we are on the home page so here currently we don't see anything because my account is completely blank and no resource are created so what i'll do i'll create few resources and we'll try to show how it will uh, reflect vulnerabilities in our project or any threats or risk in our project while creating the resource so we'll see you in another part of this video hello all in last part we have seen how we can set up security command center for an organization so in this video, we'll see how we can use this security command center to detect the vulnerabilities in our organization. So I selected my organization here. Okay. And from here, I'll just go to the security command center and we'll see what are the vulnerabilities it detected in my organization or what are the security issues it detected in my organization. Okay. So let me open this and here you could see it detected few active vulnerabilities. So these are with high severities. You could see this is high. So I'll just scroll down finding by category. So what it detected. So I have open RDP port. It means I have access to my RDP port across the internet. Then I have open SSH port. Then MFA not enforced for my organization. Then non or IAM member. It means I am having techtapture.com organization. So user should be associated with only techtapture.com so if i am adding any non-org user like something like gmail.com then it will detect as a vulnerability then i am having public ip address to my vm to my one of the vm so it also detected so all these are a security issues it detected and it is asking me to correct this so let me open this one open rdp port and we'll see this issue is related to which project or uh, which network so i'll just click on this three total finding okay now it will give me the more details now here you can see the create time is 30th march so this was display name default allow rdp default allow rdp default allow rdp it means it is a firewall rule where i can see that the resource full name so it is giving me the project detail tt hyphen h hyphen dev 002 this is a uh, admin 002 and this reside in my folder so in tech capture rnd i'll show you here so i have here multiple projects and folder so inside this rnd so i have dev 001 dev 001 and dev 002 in both of this project it detected that open rdp port and i have to correct that okay so let me scroll and we'll see what more details it has given so it is showing me this is a misconfiguration okay and this is type is a google compute firewall let me see what other details it is having so all details it can show but only displayed a required one so we don't need much details so i'll just close it and what i will do i'll go and see what others vulnerabilities it detected so when it detected for a public ip so i'll see which vm is having a public ip so i can correct that and here are more other criteria so open telnet for public data set public log bucket so there is nothing detected and it is completely safe but if i go uh, here so we detected and the status is showing here 
which is not safe the green means it is safe and no vulnerability is detected so i'll go into this where public ip address detected and recommendation should be vm should not have a public ip address so this is my recommendation so i'll just go and open this vulnerabilities and we'll see which vm i am having so it given the vm id okay resource full name so again it is in dev001 so let me go and see if it is actually i am opening or i am having a public ip so i will go here and this rnd project in dev 001 i'll see if i have vm with a public ip address okay if it is there i'll remove that okay here you could see so it detected automatically it has the vulnerability and it is detecting it as a security issue so i have to avoid that and even in the same project it will show me the vpcs with the firewall rule which shows it's open rdp port and open ssh port so as it is default network and by default it will have that firewall rules So if I go to firewall, so default allow RDP, you can see anyone from internet can log in into my Windows machine in this network, which is having a credentials. Okay. So it is again a considered as a security issues. Again, this SSH port is also open and these both issues are detected in my security command center so let me delete this to firewall rule and let me see it will take time to reflect uh, the status here it's not exactly a real time replication but after some time it will detect these two vulnerabilities are corrected now okay so in this way we can check and there are other few criteria where it will detect i'll show you so it is i'm just using the pre-version in premium there will be more vulnerabilities here here instead of three now it is showing two and let me see here the public ip will be still there yeah, public IP is still there. Let me go and remove that public IP or, or delete that VM. So let's uh, remove this. Okay, VM is deleted. Let me uh, refresh here. So let me reload a security command center. This public IP address should go in some time. Yeah, now you could see it is not showing that vulnerability for public IP address. So we have to make it secure. We have to resolve all this vulnerability to make our Google Cloud environment safe and secure. So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you again.